Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago, I'm a well developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to have an interview with Patrick. He's the owner of the Dynamo DeFi YouTube channel. Very interesting, very important YouTube channel about passive income, on-chain analysis, and also airdrops. So we are going to be discussing with him and Boris, the moderator and one of my partners at Cryptocurrency State, all about airdrops. So if you are applying to airdrops, you need to see this video. We are going to chat about a lot of things, but especially about what are the best airdrops to do now, our own crypto strategies in airdrops, and what ecosystems are we doing airdrops with our strategies, and also many airdrops that we have been claimed on the last two or three months, and what airdrops you can claim already. So if you are doing airdrops, you need to see this video until the end. It's a very important and directly to the point interview. Of course, before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and don't forget to subscribe to Dynamo DeFi to get up to date with all that information too. Awesome, really happy to be here today talking with Boris and Santiago, two content creators that I've been watching for a while super knowledgeable about all things crypto, DeFi, and airdrop related. We're going to be talking a lot about those today. Uh, we're doing this as a joint video on both of our channels. Um, so happy to be here, guys. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you, Patrick. Um, yeah, so we, we are part of my YouTube channel that Boris and I are sharing right now, Cryptocurrency State. And to my followers, Patrick for Dynamo, you are, most of you already know him. So please go and subscribe to the channel. We are really into airdrops. So we are going to be talking a lot about that topic on this video and share thoughts about different important things on airdrops. Primarily the strategies we focus on right now, the airdrops that we've already claimed and something that we can implement now to position ourselves for a really, really successful 2024. A lot of content creators and influencers are agreeing on one simple thing. It is that 2024 is likely the last big airdrop year. So we want to make sure that we start strong and make sure that throughout the year, everything is as it should be. Um, really quick intro as well from my end. Uh, I've started my crypto journeys two years ago. Nothing was working for 10 months. I discovered airdrops and finally something started working. <laughs> so last year and a half, uh, we've been really, really successful if i may say so with some proper proper results and i'm really excited to share all of our knowledge today in this short video so thanks for coming guys awesome yeah thanks thanks for having me and um to give a brief intro about myself uh name is patrick of course youtube channel is dynamo DeFi. i cover mostly DeFi, but really all things crypto related with a focus on on-chain strategies so that includes DeFi. originally it was yield farming although as we'll talk about, I think airdrop farming has kind of, yield farming exists, but I think airdrop farming has kind of replaced yield farming in a sense because, because a lot of protocols realized that yield farming wasn't a good way to get uh, sticky sticky liquidity. Um, and then I also have a, a, a sub stack that I, that I run, which is a um, pretty good sized sub stack where I also talk about crypto trends, on-chain analysis and all those things. And in my content, I try to have a big focus on fundamental analysis, on on-chain data, all those sorts of things. Um, so it's not so much a trading channel, more about a fundamental analysis and strategies. But yeah, we got a lot to talk about with airdrops today. Uh, Santiago, did you want to give an intro about yourself before we get started? Yeah, well, I, I work as a developer since I was 13 years old. Uh, so wow. what? How is that a thing? Wait, yeah. you were a teenager, one, yeah. three, 13? Yeah, I, I, was, I was hacking at that age. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I was in the te tech world all my life. So I hear about Bitcoin in 2011, didn't do anything. I hear again in 2013, 14, um, in, in wow. 2012, one friend of mine was mining Bitcoin with one computer. At that time you were able to do that. And I didn't wow. believe that worth it. Uh, I needed to buy a better, um, a better PC to do that. And I didn't mm. do it. So I missed that, that train too. Uh, and <laughs> I started really, really heavy in 2017, uh, a couple of months before that, that bull run. And since then, I have been super active. I started my YouTube channel in 2018, Cryptocurrency State, but uh, it was difficult at that time. So I just uh, stopped it and concentrate on trading, uh, concentrate on investing. 
did it super well in 2021 on that bull run and I returned to the YouTube channel uh, in 2021. Nice. Uh, so that is my yeah. my story on the crypto space. But uh, let's just talk a little bit about the strategy with uh, when people, you know, one of the most common questions I get is how should I allocate my wallets, my resources, my funds? And I don't know about you guys, but for me, the best strategy I've seen work is you have one wallet, which stakes a lot of your funds, maybe like 400, 500, even maybe $1,000 worth. And then you have another wallet that's like $500, $600 worth of tokens. And then all the others, they're like 200 to $300. So that way, I guarantee myself to qualify probably on the first two, and then very, very likely to qualify on the ones with $300, $400, maybe even 200 on some. What do you think about the strategy? you think that's a good one? Yeah, I would say that's actually very similar to my strategy. Um, for the most part, I, I tend to have my core wallet, especially with the points programs. Um, you know, there are, are points programs like Gito, where on the one hand, it's great because people who are small stakers, everyone got 10, 15K from Gito. On the other hand, it's, um, you know, it, it can also be bad if you're concentrating all your wallets in one place, right? Like I, I, I I'll be honest, I got a very good Gito, <laughs> Gito payout, but I thought, you know, if I had split up into 20 different wallets or 30 different wallets, I would have gotten significantly right. more. Yeah. Um, yeah. That's, but that's also, you, think about it. also, you can't really predict that in, in my theory. And so this is part of the reason why I'm concentrating in one is I think a lot of these protocols doing airdrops are going to be a lot more strict with the cutoffs and also put a lot more attention to sibling now that you have for example i saw some number 60 or seventy thousand people staking python right um it, it's, it's very clear that's people trying to qualify for airdrops they didn't just suddenly decide they want to participate in oracle governance um and, yeah. and I, I, feel like the, <laughs> I feel like that protocols are going to try to account for that the yeah. numbers before Pi hype started like two weeks ago, I think maybe what 10,000 people staked Pi or maybe 15,000, right? So it's ridiculous how liquidity flows where attention goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always yeah, like that. Um, you yeah. know, it's an interesting yeah. thing you were yeah. saying about the meta with staking versus doing a lot of interactions on test nets. It's kind of what I was saying before, where I feel like airdrop farming is replacing replacing yield farming in a sense where rather than getting this 300 or 3000 percent even apr when a when a project lasts they know that people are just farming and dumping the coins so instead they're like you've basically got to stick around for four months five months and then you're going to get a lump sum payment instead two years for zk sync almost two two, years. yeah yeah <laughs> instead of God. just uh um yeah. yeah but so that's why i like for example um things like the staking like you said tia i mean tia is the yeah great um uh so many tia ones have already been announced uh other cosmos ones but then i like on solana for example things like margin fi mm -hmm. camino where they have points so they're probably gonna do an airdrop i mean I, I wanted to share now like my crypto airdrop strategy and yeah. what ecosystems i am i am doing so I have airdrops to claim that I want to show, but mm -hmm. just to share with the community, this is what I am doing. I am still focusing on farming with multiple wallets. So right now I am mm -hmm. using 20 wallets yeah. to farm. Not every airdrop that I see, but the most important protocols and ecosystems, I am getting into 20 wallets uh, to do it. Uh, in, in our channel, uh, one of our followers generation did a very good strategy how to do that using proxies. Uh, I will want to share that link to anyone that is interested. And I am getting Kepler wallets all around my proxies and <laughs> and browsers. So I am really focusing on investing, not only because I want address, because I believe in the project. So I am dedicating to invest into Cosmos, Atom, Celestia, Injective, Kushira, Say and Sweet. All those are uh, protocols that you can delegate into validators and get passive airdrops. Uh, we have been seeing this mm -hmm. over and over with the major ones. And I ordered it also in the in the priority that I am having. I am allocating money into each of these protocols and I'm going into allocate to my 20 wallets. So I will have 20 wallets with this strategy because I can earn a good yield for the year 
staking in each of protocols. All those tokens are tokens that I like for a bull run. And I think I will get a lot of airdrops during 2024 doing that. So these are my main ecosystems on the point two. Uh, I still have in the point three individual airdrops. Uh, I will call the step two like passive airdrops. And the point three, I still um, been applying to CK Sync for more than one year, layer zero, Sora, uh, all the ones that you know, Starnet probably is going to give an airdrop soon. So I still doing one transaction per week on all those protocols. All 2023, we cover in our channel like individual airdrops. So I still waiting for those to give me the, the claim airdrop. And in point four, I have like hyper seasonal ecosystem airdrops like Solana in January. And like Patrick, you said, I think they could have a comeback tomorrow with uh, Jupiter. So Martian Fight Drift and all the others that we commented already in this video, uh, I am applying to and I still going to farm in Solana. But right now I am a little more focused on point two than point three, which was my focus in 2023, like big individual funding projects. Right now I am seeing, um, because I got a ton of TIA, Celestia tokens in many of my airdrop wallets, the same happened with Injective. So I am really focusing on my point too. So th those are my uh, ecosystem that I am farming. And this is basically my strategy using these two four points that I am sharing here. First off, this is an uh, awesome, awesome document. Um, Let me stop. Besides the uh, Solana things we talked about, I'm definitely more focused on staking delegating right now, like you are. Uh, one other thing I've been looking at as well is other protocols that you can accumulate points on by passively lending or, or depositing things. So for example, one that I've been farming is known as Prime Protocol. It's a um, cross-chain borrowing and lending market already operational. So you deposit on one chain, borrow on another, uh, powered by Axelar, but it's backed by Jump uh, and a few other few other major okay. major investors. The thing is, uh, you know, if you're buying it on the open market, maybe you're skeptical of being backed by those investors, but if you're farming their points program, um, then then to me that's uh, you're basically getting in uh, getting in at ground zero. Uh, so that one I've been farming, and I like it because I can farm points by depositing proto by depositing funds. And um, the point of this isn't to do a prime shell, but but I think it's an interesting example. The sort of one I like that you're accumu you're accumulating points. They have a very strong. Um, they they have basically a their system for calculating points, the longer you've been deposited, the faster you gain them. So it really punishes people that are trying to trying to game the system and rewards it if you passively just deposit like, you know, however much you want to deposit, but I, you know, say a few thousand dollars there, uh, maybe a few hundred depending on your budget, maybe even less, but the longer you deposit it, the faster you gain points. So if you deposit a hundred dollars uh, for a few weeks, you're going to gain points as fast as someone who deposited $300 when they first deposit it because 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 you get them faster the longer it's been deposited nice Super exponential okay yeah right. uh, and then the other thing is just as i make trades i'm being sure to use perp dexes without tokens so that's hyper liquid avo drift yeah this is a this is a great this is a great great uh, case actually the, this is perfect this is what i want to say like people always go to uniswap or pancake swap there's so many other alternatives that you just <laughs> organically use them and just get rewards out of thin air. This is something people need to become very clear about. So, yeah, amazing. Um, for me, I think we all share the common thread here with Cosmos Ecosystem, so I don't need to repeat myself. Atom, Tia, those are the main ones. And then you can diversify into the lower ones like Santiago has also done. So I completely second that. And... Guys, always farm on DEXs and bridges without a token, just like Patrick said. Stuff like the Bob, Odos. Odos is great. You can filter out multiple tokens at once and trade in all in one transaction. Save on gas. Um, again, fight staking is starting to be a thing. People are catching on. There's about 140 projects utilizing Pyth infrastructure. So that's probably got a bright future ahead. Awesome. Santiago, what advice would you have to people who are new to trading, new to airdrop farming? Yeah, I think if you are new into crypto in general, I think 
doing airdrops is a good way to learn about crypto. I have been seeing that many times with new people in crypto and um, we have a channel in our Discord, which is for new people. And you learn a lot about what the liquidity pool is, liquid staking, like all the protocols. You need to start using the centralized wallets uh, because I, I have even been questioned if how, how can I get the airdrops in Binance? Like, you know, it's like there, there are many concepts that you need to understand that for us mm -hmm. is super, super obvious. So yeah. instead of going into trading without any preparation, I, I did my first trade after three years of study and people don't don't have that discipline. So I, I think you should, instead of going to trading, go into airdrops, you will need a little capital. I think in 2020, you could get airdrops freely. I don't think it's the case anymore. So you will need a couple of hundreds. Uh, if you don't have a couple of hundreds, you need to do all the test nets that are around in all the ecosystems and hope to get some reward on that. But if you have a couple of hundreds, then I would recommend to do with the point two of my strategy, which is go into the passive protocols. Uh, also, you need less time for researching if you are new. So go into Cosmos, go into Celestia, uh, Injective, Say and Sweet, and, and keep your eye there. And as soon as you get some money, you start to go into another different things. Um, that would be my mm -hmm. strategy. Uh, and the hot question Snowball. is how, how much money you stake, right? You get that question all the time. And of course, it's as much more money you can put is more secure, but I will not go below $100 on any of those protocols. I think minimum you yes. need to put 100 or 200, I would say, mm. to be secure. Yeah, especially. Yeah, and not be like a civil or, or get out of the of the end rooms. Yeah, especially now that people are trying to game it. Uh, speaking of what you said about being the great introduction, did you guys see that thing where the official Spanish embassy to Bosnia and Herzegovina commented on Dimensions post saying, we're really hyped for season two of the airdrops? <laughs> no, I didn't see, didn't see that. We had people who don't know who what? was the um, you know intern logged into the wrong account or something, but it was the official account for the Spanish embassy in Bosnia commented oh. on Dimensions post about the airdrops saying, we're really hyped for season two. <laughs> oh my god that's hilarious wow oh my god yeah it, it, let's say it's an intern yeah 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 that's, uh, that's good, good guy good guy yeah oh the Sp god. spanish embassy needs some extra funding maybe i don't know so now we need to share the address with the governments <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know no, whale, no, whales are entering Gover governments are uh are getting into airdrops now as a store of value so for Solana, I really feel like we're much better off doing something on Camino, Meteora, probably Parcel, Zeta Markets. Like those would be my four picks that are not that obvious. Uh, obviously, like Drift, MarginFi, and what's the last one? Uh, whatever, Tensor, the last one as well. Maybe. Uh, Tensor? Mm, could be, yeah. Um, but I feel like those are like too, too farmed, you know, like... Camino is already bordering, like they've introduced points. And once they introduced points, everyone was like, okay, let's go to Camino. So yeah, probably best to focus on ones that are not really being talked about, but are also very likely to airdrop. So that would be my strategy for Solana. Maybe go to Meteora, Zeta Markets, mm, perhaps Bla Sol Blaze, but it's also, it's also very farmed already. Um, so yeah, Zeta Markets, Camino, and probably parcel those would be my solana picks what about you guys i in terms of solana i have been doing those exactly the same one that you commented i am i am chasing like the next hype i think solana already hype with shito and all that yeah doesn't mean that <clears throat> it could not be a good idea to keep farming in solana but i am now more focusing more in in new ecosystems like say we and yep. all the Cosmos ecosystem that we already talked and we are going to, to continue talking on this call. Um, so in Absolutely. Solana, I already have my positions on farming right now uh, on those projects. Okay. Yeah, I think those are good points. I I would say I'm still fairly heavy on MarginFi, um, but I got a head start, right? So um, 
you know, without doxing my wallet, I'm, I'm in the, I'll say at least the top couple hundred uh, farmers on there. And that was because I had a pretty good head head start on uh, on people. But two that I like besides MarginFi, I like all the ones you mentioned, but I really like Parcel because people don't know what Parcel is. Basically, it's a way for for trading futures on real estate markets, uh, which is something that doesn't exist anywhere besides yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that application as far as I know. So it's a great use case for crypto. Uh, and you can farm it with stable coins. So I'm actually borrowing USDC on margin fi with a very, very safe liquidation price, right? But I'm borrowing USDC on margin fi, getting points on margin fi, and then depositing that USDC on parcel to get points on parcel. Uh, and then the other thing I like about that is you can, if you have the capital, because again, this, this requires money, but you can buy that parcel NFTs and um, that boosts the rate at which you get points. And what I like about that is for people who are watching this video, we're recording this the day before the Jupiter airdrop. And mm-hmm. one of my theses these past couple of weeks has been that when the Jupiter airdrop comes out, we'll see another renewed focus on Solana airdrops. So that way these NFTs would actually do well. And they have, they've, they've gone up in terms of soul and the price of soul has gone up. So I'm farming points with these NFTs, but also I can cash out by selling the NFTs before the airdrop itself actually happens. So, so that's, that's one of the ones I like. Um, and then I like Tensor for similar reasons. Um, I've sold, I sold most of my Tensor, Tensorians, um, over 100 sold, but I still have some. And the, the thing that's nice about that again, is you're earning points in Tensor by staking them. And then also if there's airdrop hype on Solana, you can sell them and cash out. And so you're basically getting a payout before the airdrop itself even happens. Yeah, well, I nice. think you're right. Uh, I, I think the hype could come back with Jupiter tomorrow. And mm-hmm. we, we saw what happened with the WEN token. That means mm-hmm. So there mm-hmm. was a lot of hype around that in the first one for Jupiter. And so that, that, that really could happen. It's a good strategy. Um, can we... Maybe we can talk about some really successful claims for the end now. So what were the best airdrop claims that we did over the last few months? What was uh, the biggest success okay patrick of course jito maybe for you maybe celestia i suppose what, mm-hmm. what were some of the others yeah G- jito was the biggest um jupiter is tomorrow from the time of recording this i'm expecting that to be pretty good as well uh that's one of those ones that if it was around today it would have been heavily sibled but it was people weren't using solana as much last year uh, but jupiter i'm expecting to be good uh dimension actually i got a pretty solid airdrop i don't know what, exactly what it's going to be worth but um, in terms of looking at my allocation, it looks pretty solid. And uh, the reason for that is actually a lot of these different things we had talked about it shows you sometimes you get airdrops you weren't expecting. Um, a lot of these different strategies we talked about actually ended up leading into Dimension. So staking on Celestia and Cosmos got Dimension, but also it turned out that this Tensorian NFT I had to farm the Tensor airdrop on Solana. Tensor is the main NFT marketplace on Solana. The Tensorians also got a Dimension airdrop. So I actually got a a decent airdrop from there Jesus. as well. Nice. Okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, part of the thing Outlayer. is if you're just using, come again. Uh, alt layer. That's uh, that was dimension, but alt layer is also uh, they haven't um, they haven't done the airdrop for Celestia stakers yet, but they did airdrop for some other people. Um, but yeah, I would say those are my my best ones so far. What about you too? Mm. So, yeah, I wanted to share with both communities uh, because now claim tokens is like the season to claim. January was crazy for me, uh, but the couple of months, um, because it's not only to apply to airdrops, right? You need to be up to date on claiming airdrops because right now you are doing things in too many ecosystems and you don't even know that you are eligible for some airdrops if you are not in the right communities. So again, please subscribe to both channel Dynamo D5 with Patrick, great content and cryptocurrency state. Uh, we are here to help you guys. So yeah, these were my personal uh, big airdrops on the last three months. I got Celestia in many of my um, multiple farming airdrops. So that is why I'm still moving into more wallets uh, into all these ecosystems. Uh, I prefer to put $500 in two wallets than 1000 in one wallet. That is has been working more for me. I got, for the same reason, Pit Network. 
you can see some comments, but if you were doing stuff in any ABM layer two solution, Solana or Cosmos, you got these tokens that were really, really nice even in the airdrop distribution. So we have been talking mm -hmm. about all these ecosystems a lot on this call. So you basically pass passively, you get these airdrops. We have Manta airdrop, $3.50 right now. Uh, Sikai Fair airdrop, it was not too good for many people, but because I, I get it in 16 wallets, it's like, uh, also it was really easy to get. So that is my view. So with many wallets, you see the really the good benefits of everything. So that is why I'm staking all, all that. Regarding ZK Fair, you can stake it and you earn like a dollar a day for like 3000 tokens. So it's pretty good deal. You know, if you, if you lock it for four years, it's like 360 APY. So you can probably like, do like a 10x in a year on your free airdrop if it survives for a year who says if it will but you know just an idea yeah and and even we think i fair when you get that token you were eligible for many other tokens on that network because it's a a, a network itself that we already claim it uh, i don't remember even the names i'm staking everything <laughs> but yeah so say airdrop it was very important i personally didn't qualify for this uh, you need to have an NFTs, but many people in our in our Discord qualify. Uh, this is a very important project because Arbitrum uh, technology and project itself, the creators of Arbitrum are behind, say, Airdrop. So that was very uh, unique. Levan Airdrop, this was one crazy thing that I did. In a time frame of four days, I did a video and... The claim, the snapshot was announced. So you know when the snapshot is going to be. So one day before I did a couple of things there, enter a lot, a big amount of money into the liquidity there. And three days after that, we got the airdrop directly. So in terms of four days, uh, we got the airdrop. It was really easy because it was an osmosis injective. It was super announced, but not many people did it. It was a small project at the time. So I did a, a nice a nice money on that. I know other people with one wallet did not, but I put a lot of money and volume. Um, you mentioned Boris at layer. So that is already in the market, 43 cents. You still can claim it until 25 of February. Um, it was not so good for me. I didn't qualify too much on this one, but those are the ones that are the biggest one that I claim i mean there was many others guys I, this is just a small list of what i got and now we have to claim very very soon saga very important airdrop for many ecosystems too uh, atom tia polygon ck abm which is a surprise there uh Cita chain is, is going to be a big airdrop for me too we did this in november 2022 so one year and a half and I did it like crazy. Uh, it's very funny that the snapshot was in August and I actually stopped it to do things in Cita Chain about that time. So <laughs> I really nailed it. <laughs> um, and it was a testnet, so we didn't spend anything. Dimension, Patrick and Boris both talk about that. If you were in Celestia, Cosmos, Layers 2, Osmosis, so you really qualify for this. It was like super easy to be there. Jupiter tomorrow, we are going to see about that super big airdrop. Um, and here are many others that we already claim or we are about to claim right now. Uh, so yeah, you can see here so like much. 20 airdrops in two months already claim or to be claimed and, and more. Um, yeah. sh shout out to, to Ramon, which is one of uh, the, the followers here on my Discord. We have an airdrop distribution channel there. And he put a very good weekly report on, on these airdrops to claim. So this is everything that we have been claiming in the, the last two, three weeks. So it's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Fruitful year for airdrop farmers. <laughs> Incredible. Man. Oh my. 2024 is going to be crazy. Crazy. Yeah. Probably the last big airdrop here, if you ask me. Nobody's going to be able to do 50 wallets in a year. Like, <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> got if only but probably not so what we can do this year is what we should do this year so yeah basically that's pretty much the list is the same for me like santiago and i basically do all the same things so what, what you did i did basically so 
there's no need for me to say the same. Although I will never forgive myself, I missed Celestia. So I told guys in our Discord three times, do Celestia claim Celestia claim Celestia, but I was I was abroad and I was like, I'll just I'll just do it when I get home. Nope. <laughs> so guys, please learn from mistakes of others, claim your tokens, <laughs> and at least know for how long you can claim them. That's the most basic thing you can do. Like I got all these airdrops except Celestia, and that was maybe the biggest one. So please learn from other people's mistakes. Simple as that. Yeah. Well, guys, this has been amazing. Uh, I learned a lot too in this call. We share valuable information for both communities. So please follow these channels. Um, you really need to be in contact with people that knows about this and is breathing this every day like we are. So that is why we are here sharing all this information. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. It's been really, really... Uh... I've learned a lot. I hope other people have as well. And uh, it was great to connect and, um, and, and yeah, I mean, talk, talk about our different, but similar strategies about airdrop farming. Yeah. It's always like that. Everybody, there's so many people and we always complement each other's knowledge and just sharing ideas. This is what it's all about. This was our dream from the start and to know where we started and where we are today. It's a beautiful, beautiful thought. And I just hope a lot of people wake up to this, but you know, not too many, so we don't dilute our pools, but you know, a, a good round number. You know? <laughs> so yeah, hopefully a lot of people catch on. All right. All right. So, thanks for coming guys. Thank you so yeah, much yeah. guys. See you next time. Have a great day. Well, I hope you enjoyed the interview with Patrick and Boris. Don't forget to go and subscribe to Dynamo DeFi. And remember that I have my subscriptions to my private Discord where you, we cover many of the things that you saw in this video, not only what there are just to do, but also how and when you can claim those airdrops. And I have an application, I created an app that is going to help you to apply to airdrops directly and in a very organized way, even if you are using multiple wallets. So check my subscriptions, check all my airdrop videos that I have been doing. We have like 100 airdrops active right now and you can apply on them in my app. And also, of course, you can get your own information into my app from another sources. So don't waste any time. This year is the airdrop year. 2024 airdrop season is started. So we are going to do it great. That will be all. And I see you in the next video. Bye.